Welcome, welcome. We are live streaming, just got it started, and uh, we will be entering the quest probably within a few minutes here. I have a couple minutes to get over here, and no problem, we'll be running this on Heroic. Hi and welcome to the latest Weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream. Thanks very much for joining us on twitch.tv slash ddostream. Don't forget to give us a follow if you would like to be notified for whenever we're going live, just like this, every Wednesday starting at noon Eastern, minus four GMT on Twitch. Uh, this week uh, we are on Thalanus, so uh, we've been on Lamania the past uh, couple of weeks, but I thought I'd head back to the live servers here. And uh, running on Thalanus, we're going to be running the High Road on Heroic. Uh, normally we'd be running it on Epic. I have a level 21 character and we have a uh, level 28 in the party too, but uh, the rest of the party is actually uh, under uh, in the Heroic level, so we're just going to run it probably on uh, Heroic, um, perhaps Heroic Elite. Um, and mostly this is just a way to kind of show you the content and uh, give a sneak peek at uh, High Road here for those of you who have not yet uh, seen it. And uh, just kind of hang out and have some fun in our Twitch chat. So uh, don't forget to ask us some questions, and if I can answer them, I will on the Twitch stream. That's twitch.tv slash DDO stream. Uh, all right, so uh, our Lamania public preview of update uh, 23 is... Uh, largely over at this point. The Luania server is still up as of the time of this live stream, but uh, probably will be going down uh, here at some point for the Update 23 preview. Uh, what does that mean? Well, it means Update 23 is getting uh, getting closer, shall we say. It's uh, uh, heavy into the uh, QA process right now and uh, testing things out. Uh, you know, any uh, finishing work we need to do to uh, get it out the door, essentially, so you can expect uh, probably uh, some announcements uh, fairly soon. Uh, probably towards the end of the month here, uh, in regard to uh, the release date. So, there we go. Uh, also, I uh, just want to uh, give you guys a little bit of a heads up that uh, starting tomorrow we do have a, a challenge boost that's uh, going to be plus 25%. Uh, kicks in uh, late tomorrow morning Eastern Time and uh, runs uh, through Sunday, so that'll be the uh, DDO bonus days bonus this week. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you haven't seen the uh, Update 23 release notes on the Mania, you can, they're looking pretty good. Uh, uh, I'm putting the finishing touches on them uh, for the live servers right now, so you can kind of get a sneak peek as to what all is going on. Uh, finally, before we get started here, I just had one more thing to mention, and that is that next Wednesday, we are doing the regular noontime, weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream, but we will also be doing a special Update 23 preview. This will be on twitch.tv slash stream, and uh, I'm going to have to uh, check on the time here real quick. But it's going to be taking place uh, after the uh, regular uh, live stream. Let's see what I have. Um, I think it hasn't quite been scheduled yet. But it'll be probably in the afternoon of uh, the 24th, uh, which will be next uh, Wednesday. So I hope you can join us for that. We're going to be sitting down with uh, members of the dev team and such to just give kind of a quick uh, one-hour preview of Update 23, what's in store, and uh, answer some questions and all that sort of thing. Yep, uh, High Road with uh, Detour. That's probably going to be our first one here. If uh, everything is uh, going strong here, um, let's see, look at a couple of chat questions if I can. Uh, how long will Lamania remain up? A few days or a week? Uh, that's yet to be determined. Uh, I think it uh, determ will be based basically on conversations we'll have probably within the next couple of days. So uh, It might might be gone by this weekend, but we'll, we'll just kind of have to see what, uh, what happens there for the Lamania preview. All right, uh, you guys uh, about ready to get going here? Uh, Mechatronic, if you have the uh, Hall of Heroes, uh, you can get to the Forgotten Realms uh, through the Hall of Heroes there. I uh, don't have that yet, huh? Uh, also, yeah, if you're an Iconic, uh, you can do that. Uh, that's another way to get there. Uh, finally, uh, I mean, you have to have a key if you can start from like a past life or something, but that's a, a third way to do it as well. Welcome, Zeatar. We're uh, getting started here in just a quick uh, minute. We're going to head into the high road on Heroic. Uh, probably run it on Elite. Sorry, Technical 13 for the buffering. Uh, we can't uh, really um, adjust the uh, stream quality on our end if you're a... Uh, 
Twitch TV uh, partner, you can, which we are not, and uh, you can if you are also a Turbo subscriber, you can change the bandwidth there. But if you do run into uh, buffering problems, uh, you may need to check it out on uh, the archive feed, which goes up uh, later in the day here, both on Twitch and on YouTube, which uh, does offer you some uh, flexibility in terms of the resolution you watch it in. So, Anything to report on changes to the new Update 23 raid? Uh, the last uh, changes on that are what's in the Lamania release notes uh, right now. You can see a whole list of uh, changes that were made in our most recent build uh, to Lamania. All right, let's uh, let's do this, huh? We'll sort of. Well, I guess I can wait for a couple more folks to show up. Yeah, I don't uh, know Titan what that uh, Riza Ice Festival thing is about. It's not uh, <laughs> not applicable because Riza is not here right now. But uh, that's that's probably just a uh, mistype there. All right, looks like we have uh, some people in the uh, instance there, so why don't we uh, go and do that? Well, I guess I could quick do my daily dice here too, huh? <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Use those potions here. Yeah, that sounds right. Technical says it's uh, live from the last time. I probably haven't been to the harbor for it to clear out. That's probably uh, a factual statement. This character has not been in the harbor for quite some time. <laughs> Let's see, I think uh, we're missing just uh, one person, right? Uh, Mechatronic, are you think you're going to be able to uh, get in, or maybe not? Well, that's a bummer. Um, I think we're going to have to run it. We're going to run it anyway, uh, sorry about that. And uh, maybe you can uh, join us uh, next week. We can keep you in the party if you want. Or feel free to leave, up to you. All right, uh, let's uh, let's do this. Let's uh, head to the uh, first quest uh, detour. Ooh, someone got a 99 yesterday. Let's see, can I follow the road to my own uh, this quest here? I haven't actually run the high road in uh, quite some time, but it's a real. Uh, uh, I like this quest uh, quite a bit. It's pretty uh, pretty entertaining. Oh, poor thing. Sorry, I do have a little bit of a cold, so I'm going to try to use my uh, mute button uh, to uh, prevent any coughs from uh, taking place. I have actually rolled a uh, hundred on a uh, daily dice, so. Cool, welcome back, uh, Mechatronic. Looks like maybe uh, you're, we're going to be able to get you in after all. Yeah, let me share. All right, uh, we're going to do uh, heroic, uh, probably just heroic elite here. Uh, might as well. Um, like I say, normally you wouldn't uh, go in with a level 28 on heroic, but we do have a, um, uh, you know, some under level folks in the party here, so. Yeah, this uh, this actually cleric. He's he's pretty uh, a little on the gimped side. Um, he's really not had a uh, gear upgrade in several years. Um, this is one that I had shelved for quite some time, um, but then uh, brought back on the Linus here for the uh, live stream. This is the old uh, mock duck. Really. Read the dossiers, then meet me outside. B V. All right, might as well do a little buffing here.
Ooh, someone got a Winter Wolf Pup for rolling 100 uh, on Daily Dice. That's pretty cool. Fortunately, already had one, huh? Well, that's a bummer, but, uh, yeah. Alright, let's uh, do this, huh? Benson speaks as you approach. I know you're not looking forward to escorting me, but I'll have you know I'm more capable than you think when it comes to defending myself. I am a Harper wizard, after all. Yeah, it's uh, pretty funny. I remember uh, when this quest was being made, they were just like, okay, yes, it is an escort quest, we're going to make sure this guy isn't, uh, doesn't really have much fear of uh, dying. <laughs> Because, you know, some folks oh, uh, have to be more careful with legit, the scroll, uh, especially if not big fans of uh, escort quests with them. Um, like more demons if the scroll is disturbed again. This uh, build really used to be uh, essentially a Radiant Servant build, but at the moment is uh, uh, just a uh, little mix of stuff. I say uh, kind of kind of a gimped build, but that's that's all right. This this character just brought out for fun at this point. And it is one of my, I think, uh, one of my higher level characters on the planet, so just want to piece it in the live stream. So it may have a lot of uh, heroic gear, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Still is a fun character to play. <laughs> Even though you were late, we still beat the Nether easier. They are unprepared. Tell there'll be plenty more out there trying to stop us. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's directly a coil reference or not. Although, you know, hey, with a, uh, with a. Uh, Update 23 here, that's going to be a whole different issue, right? Because Coil's getting, uh, getting fixed. No longer a required objective. It's kind of an interesting one. After all these years, right? Oh yeah, there is a shortcut, that's true. But no, we're just going to take the long way. We're just running quests for fun here, right? But yes, there are ways you can uh, sort of bypass some of this fighting. But I'm always uh, waiting to find a decent uh, set of uh, lighter robes so I can uh, equip that. Dire bears. Uh, 
attention of wandering dire bears. Dead bears. Um, Fortisan? I can't see that guy's HP. The SEC? Oh, yeah? I wonder why. I can't see his HP. That's a good question. Uh, not sure. I think part of making him uh, largely uh, non-coil-like means he probably has a uh, large pool of hit points, but I guess that's just not being uh, shown. like someone stirred up an ornery dire bear. Something tells me the Netherese didn't educate their hired muscle about the local fauna. How fortuitous that dire bear showed up when it didn't foil the ambush. Come and raid our forest, William. I'll teach him. <laughs> Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I mean, I think when update uh, 23 comes out here, I think I am going to uh, respec um, uh, Sekihan here, probably to be a vanguard, or not a vanguard, but, uh, well, maybe, maybe, who knows, maybe I'll do a uh, actual uh, TR on this guy and turn him into a vanguard, but either that, I'll probably just uh, dip more into War Chanter, really kind of get this character going a little bit better than that. Yeah, Necro DC Clerk, that might be fun. Yeah. Heck, I do like uh, Clerics with Bastard Swords and Tower Shields. It's pretty uh, pretty cool. I've not uh, really played one, though, too much. Uh, you know, I, my Bastard Sword Tower Shield guy is a pure fighter. A uh, fighter Kensei, rather. So I really haven't uh, tried it on a Cleric. Maybe I'll have to do that. Look at the Blade Forge. Alright. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Alright. Fooled by her cheerful demeanor. This one's crazy. You can see it in her eyes. Here, bring him back into the uh, symbol of death. Team, the Netherese sent after the scroll. Allow me to stress how badly the Netherese uh, must want what we have. That's not terrible. Well, I love my team. Oof. 
hit actually pretty hard on uh, Heroic Elite. Uh, Mordekainer's disjunction, huh? Yeah, I suppose that would work. I really need to get this out quicker. roadblock and the lodge isn't down that way just take care of our attackers and move into the forest when you're done Nothing. Through the forest to the lodge now. <laughs> it's good uh, build talk happening in our chat room right now. It's always nice to uh, to read. Here holds many secrets that we can't always hide. <laughs> yeah, that Harper guy makes a difference.
go around, right? Is that right? Or no, we head into the woods. I think that takes us back where we came. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, we go on this way. Here we go. It just got turned around. Uh, no comment on Divine Grace. Uh, I, I mean, I can comment. Uh, there's really not much more to say outside of what um, has already been published, which is that it's a change we were hoping to get in for Update 23, but uh, we're not able to do so. And uh, as a result, we did want to let people know that it, it was something that uh, we are planning to do, so we put it into the known issues. And uh, that's really about it. I mean, it is, uh, it is a uh, change for folks who are used to their two pally splashes to get uh, what, plus 20 or whatever to their saves, but um, it looks like they uh, needs to be done for uh, balance reasons. Clean up in case we made it this I know some folks are not happy about it, but uh, nonetheless, we uh, we do feel it's a uh, necessary change. Hey, Titan from Hipparin. <laughs> what if we get up first? Yeah, I mean, there's still reasons to go to Pally, but, uh, you know, folks are not incorrect that it is a, uh, was a big reason why people were doing it. Oh. Alright, what do I need to do to escort him to the lodge? Here we go. Good work! There we go. The warded container should be downstairs. Follow me. of this one. The Netherese didn't hire him for his good looks. Watch out! Never leave an opening like that! The Nether Scroll Fragment should no longer be a threat to the operation, now that it's safely warded inside the artifact container. All right. Feel free to take anything else you find inside. Playing Alt-Z? I actually like to play at Alt-Z sometimes. Uh, not so much when I'm on my uh, Cleric here, just because I tend to have a wide range of hotbars, but uh, otherwise, yeah, I do it fairly regularly. I'm uh, trying to remember what the second quest in the series is, if we're going in order. Is that, uh... Lost in the Swamp, Stay at the Inn, Rest Stop... I can't remember. Okay. 
Yeah, let's just go into the uh, second quest. I can't remember. Is that that's the one that's sort of across the way here uh, by the river, right? The second quest in the series. I'm trying to go in order, although I don't have to. Bobbish Brinkstone. <laughs> Alright, heroic elite. The once proud castle has fallen to ruin. Its halls, inaccessible save for some few rooms near the entrance, now provide shelter from the night for adventurers along the high road. Someone's asking about uh, streaming software. Uh, OBS, uh, Open Broadcast Software, is a uh, free uh, software solution that's a pretty good way to uh, do what you need to do in terms of getting ready for streaming. Telling tales of their exploits and griping about their traveling companions. Alright. A dwarven merchant has a makeshift store in the ruins. It may be wise How else anyone can take care of these bear traps, well probably? Stopped. No. I like the way for a repair thing in here. Clear out the inventory. Free spirited wanderers sing and share stories around this campfire. Some gently mock their comrades from the other campsite. The scroll does not appear to be in this part of the castle. You will need to find a way to get deeper inside. Uh, let me try to remember here. Which one? Uh, how do we get back in? Let's see. Ah, cool. Oh, right, right, yeah, the torch. There you go. This old fireplace sits unused. The rear of the fireplace opens smoothly, That's right. pulled open by some hidden mechanism. Agents. Could these have been the missing party? They must be. Their frustrated voice echoes from down the hall. No, find a way to dispel the barrier of taking the scroll. Kelvin, get it corrupt the local elementals, Kelvin. Bah! I do all the work, and you'll get all the credit. This tower has served once as a guard tower and beacon in the night for travelers along the high road. Now it stands dark and broken. Top 
the tower rest a number of grim-faced gargoyles. into shadow. This tower can once again be a beacon for travelers. I think we just have to go through it, don't we? Yeah, I can do some uh, heat. I can should be able to heal us through this thing if we need to. I have reconstruct though. Cool. Guess I'll go first. Yeah. Ooh. Keldon's sing-song voice emanates from the Netherese staff. I always told Gaston that heroes never know how to set up proper ambushes. Let's see. A lone staff stands suspiciously in the center of this room. Well, we just want to break and send uh, highest hit point. Titanium, maybe you just pick it up. I can do this one. Okay, cool. One thing I've noticed on these is if you go right after another person goes, there's a period of time where it won't trigger on you. Yeah, it looks like it. It seems like it. So here, I'll go if you guys want to follow. Or, okay, we'll go after time too. Yeah, Take almost 
potions I just uh, got from Daily Dice. How about it? There we go. Seer collapses. Then there is only silence. Let's see where we're headed. Another one. Castle throne room lies beyond a portcullis. A lone wizard is preoccupied with an object resting on the throne. It must be another scroll of peace. Okay, so we're missing a lever here. Water element in the north, I think it was. Yeah, it sounds right. Shoot, gotta go through this thing again. Three, two, one, go. Stagnant pools wafts up from the nearby chambers. Something foul is in this portion of the castle. strong at this spot. Dark shadows whispered of the water of the mountain. The new rays must have done something insidious to it. The shadows coursing through the elemental dissipate before the elemental breaks apart and evaporate. The overseer and elemental must have been magically connected to a gate somewhere. With their death, the sound of opening metal can be heard in the distance. The adventurers are nowhere to be seen. They must have retired for the night. Just uh, taking a look at the chat here. Yeah. Some uh, good raid talk coming up. Uh, where were we? Here we go. 
All right, I'll have to go through this thing again. You okay, Newark? Three, two, one. You got paralyzed that time. <laughs> nice. I take one of my potions here. All right, I guess probably have about as many buffs as we're gonna get, huh? We need to go get Noak. Here, I'll go get him real quick. Sure. Uh, it's no problem. <laughs> I think you got enough reses. <laughs> Nethery's wizard waves at you dismissively. So, you made it past the others. Is this what you're looking for? The scroll piece? How unfortunate. Well then, the wizard calls out to the darkness. Creatures of shadow, come to me! And the scrap of nether scroll slips from his fingers. The piece of parchment is yours. Alright, leveling up on heroic. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm not sure that we have time to uh, start a, another quest here, so I think I'm probably just going to uh, call this stream and we'll uh, pr maybe return to this uh, next week. Pick up our rewards and such. Uh, if there's uh, time, still a little bit of time, to uh, answer your questions in chat, so if you do have some questions for me, uh, let me know. I'll uh, do my best to answer them. Uh, that's the uh, first couple of quests from the uh, High Road chain. Uh, nice pack. It's uh, got a, that heroic uh, version as well as an epic version, which is uh, typically, I think, what you uh, mostly see, uh, folks. Um, do certainly if you have epic level characters there, but it does is a nice heroic one as well, an evening star. Taking a look at the uh, chat here quick. Alright, people talking raids. Anything special for Talk Like a Pirate Day? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to uh, ask uh, Tolero about that. See, see if we can uh, maybe get something into the store or something like that. But uh, I don't don't know of any uh, immediate plans there. So, Alright, well, I think that's going to do it here for our uh, weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream. I will be back at uh, 1.30 uh, Eastern this afternoon, so in about uh, 40 minutes. Uh, running with the uh, Summer Fling, uh, soon to be Fall Fling or whatever we end up doing, a static group that's on Argonesson. So hopefully you can uh, tune back in to twitch.tv slash DDO stream and join us for that. Otherwise, the archives of this show and the uh, Summer Fling will be up later this afternoon uh, on both YouTube and Twitch. And uh, don't forget to follow us on twitch.tv slash ddostream to be notified for whenever we're going live. And join us every Wednesday starting at noon Eastern minus 4 GMT for the weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream. 
Uh, when will I be back on Kanath? Uh, probably a little while yet. I need to actually check my list to see what uh, servers I've been to. I know I owe Argonessen at least one more uh, server run, because uh, we did uh, one on Argo and then one on Thalanus. Now we're doing the second on Thalanus, so I need to go back uh, to do Argo. We'll probably do that in a couple of weeks here. And then, I'll, uh, if I can, I'll remember to do it. I'll, I'll put Kanath on that list uh, pretty close after that. Alright, until next time everyone, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.